So when I started tweeting, I tweeted some advice for voiceover people. Well, voiceover people are people that I hire, and so there I consider them vendors. And so I was targeting kind of my material, giving tips for vendors. And uh, when Marcelo gave his presentation, he says, no, 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 you want to target clients. So you're, with your social networking, the message that you want to say, you don't want to, if you're a cameraman, you don't want to just socially network with other cameramen. They don't hire you. You want to socially network with producers who would hire you. If you're uh, a mask cam company, you definitely want to be hired for, by producers, and you want to target producers. If you're a writer, you want to be hired by producers. If you're a producer, you want to be hired by clients. So you want to socially network to the clients, the specific industries that you have a niche in. Uh, if you do weddings, you want to socially network along the whole wedding thing. Weddings is a classic example of cross-referrals. You want, to, you want to socially network with wedding photographers who are interested in video. You want to socially network with uh, caterers who do weddings or venues that do weddings because you want to be the go-to person. You want to set yourself up as a subject matter expert on a particular kind of topic. Um, so, so, so what I do is I see Twitter as a headline service. So really that's the headline and go to that site and find out about the MCA meetup, which is what we have on the screen before. This one here. It's a, a thing about biometric headphones, measure where is heart rate. There's the link to the story. So it's a headline with a link to something else. You can add pictures to your Twitter feed. Let's see if I got the pictures. Sit down and crank that stuff out. But some people, they love to do that. Well, you've got that blog out there. So what? Five people read it. You can send an email out and say, hey, look at my new blog on mass cams, you know? And it's like... Uh, Big deal, five people. But if you tweet about it and it gets retweeted and the word gets out, or people search the word mass cams, they might come across your headline, which is what your Twitter is, your 140 characters, the headline for your blog. So it's a great way to promote your blog. Um, and you want to share information with others uh, that have like interests. You want to show links to your samples without bragging, but it's cool to have links to your samples. Hey, here's a project I just completed, and wow, this time I got to use a mass cam, you know, uh, and show a little sample of the mass cam thing. Um, to get into Twitter, the one thing I recommend is look at other Twitter users. And I've been tweeting for about five, six years, and I've been tweeting successfully for about the past four or five years. Uh, LinkedIn, I think, has come of age. It's been around for a long time, probably longer than Twitter, but it was always kind of a place where people looked for a job. You know, so they posted their resume, and they used it as kind of an online resume site. Well, now Twitter, uh, LinkedIn has a feed much like this. It's like a Twitter feed with, with what all your followers are talking about. Uh, and uh, it's, you know, uh, progressively changes all the time. It's maybe not as fluid and not as newsworthy. Like, I don't look at LinkedIn and go, wow, headline news. You know, we just had an earthquake somewhere in Japan. Um, it's more uh, business informational type stuff. Mm -hmm. And you get to talk a little bit longer. You can t you know, put a little longer a headline. You can actually put a little story and a headline. You can use LinkedIn as a blog site. If you don't want to have a blog on your own site, LinkedIn has some great tools for to do your own blogging. And the cool thing about that is then you're within LinkedIn's feed. And so when people go on LinkedIn and they search a particular topic, like editing, or like video, or like voiceover, or whatever, and uh, they, those keywords pop up. If you've done a blog, you rise higher to the top of the search engine. Um, the, the key strength of LinkedIn is that there are a lot of subgroups. So then the trick is, okay, if you're an editor, don't sign up for all the editing subgroups. S sign up for all the producing subgroups, because you're an editor and you want to work for a producer. So you want to talk about editing, but you want to talk about editing to your audience. And your audience would be people that are going to hire you, whether it's producers or directors or whatever. So you want to look for those groups. So for me, there are three things that you need to pay attention to on Twitter and, and on LinkedIn, frankly, too, are who your followers are and who's talking about you. Your, it's called your mentions. And I, when I tweet, I have those three pages up. I have my current home page, um, not this page, but the, the page of all the tweets that are going on, and then the people who are following me so that I can pay attention to who's following me so I can follow them back, 
and then my page of mentions. So people mention me throughout the day. I want to acknowledge that. I want to thank them for sharing a tweet or, you know, whatever. I want to pay attention. The other thing is, you um, really want to, I notice you do a lot of your work on Twitter early in the morning. Mm -hmm. um, you need to be, well, I see these things. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, and that's the thing. You don't want to tweet in the middle of the night when nobody sees it go on the timeline. Mm -hmm. So. Um, you want to make sure that you're putting your information out there, that you're being seen when your prospective target audience is True. seeing you. Um, and a good way to do that is something like Hootsuite, exactly. where you can watch your Facebook, you can be like NASA, you know, and mm -hmm. kind of watch it all at once. And you can also cross-pollinate your information. Well, search is, you know, Twitter and LinkedIn, I come up on Google, that's like on the first page all the time. If you Google search somebody's name, well, they've got a Twitter feed, their Twitter feed's right there, you know? It's like, uh, if you if you Google Tim McCreary Media first page, you know, because of what it is, it doesn't so my Tim Keenan, I use Tim Keenan, my other one. But I'm just saying, you know, that's that's part of your whole search engine optimization, building it organic. So now I'm going to give you Manny's handout, and who's going to introduce? Oh wait, I think we. Have to do that.